Hello everyone, today in this video we will be discussing the first module of electronics point point questions and in this uh, PDF we have 8 questions which are the most repeated ones from the model paper and the previous papers and uh, before starting please do like and subscribe it helps me make more videos like this don't miss any of these questions these are the most uh, important ones so without wasting more time let's get started the first question is what is regulated power supply okay what is regulated power supply we'll be having a look what it means okay it's a very important concept and uh, we'll have to also make a neat diagram for it okay Need block diagram then we will explain the working of DC power supply and mention the principal components used in each block okay so four questions are here one by one let's see okay what is a regulated power supply okay a regulated power supply ensures that the output currents remain constant even if the input changes okay so what happens output is same okay even if the input is changing okay input is increasing or decreasing but the output is constant okay this type of configuration is called as uh, the regulated power supply okay it changes the unregulated AC to a constant DC okay it changes unregulated AC to constant DC means the AC means alternating current okay it will be changing constant DC means it will be constant like this the process of converting this thing into this thing is done by the uh, regulated power supply okay so most of the electronic devices are operated by DC power supply that's why we want to convert from the AC to DC okay to do that <coughs> and uh, a thing is used in that thing there are four components okay this is the first one second third and fourth so uh, we'll be having a look what are these things okay the first thing is the ac current okay you know what is ac current right if we see this diagram that uh, will be more easy to understand see here the ac current is always changing okay it becomes positive then it becomes neg negative based on the timings okay so what happens high voltage ac current is supplied to step down transformer what does transformer do is it will convert uh, the higher voltages to lower voltages okay means this length right this length will be decreased okay transformer does that thing this is higher voltage this is lower voltage so firstly it converts high voltage to lower Voltage. who does that the step down transformer okay after that rectifier is used the rectifier means if the negative cycle is present that will also become a positive cycle like this okay that is the work of a rectifier second step is rectifier it will convert to unsmoothed direct current alternating current will have negative cycles also direct current will have only positive cycle okay after that we will be using a filter okay what does filter do filter will convert these uh, waves to a smoother wave okay like a straight constant wave okay so that is the thing which is done by the smoothing filter and finally we will be having the fourth uh, component which is voltage regulator which will be converting this to a constant regulated direct current okay so this is the process of a regulated power supply okay and this is the neat uh, block diagram okay this is just another representation of the same you have to make this one okay along with the waveforms <clears throat> Next question what is a rectifier okay we had a look at the rectifier in the bow diagram right so there are different types of rectifier as well and a half wave and full wave rectifier also okay so i have to explain those things so, so what is a rectifier rectifier converts ac voltage to pulsating dc okay see what does rectifier do this one it converts to this one, uh, this one okay see the negative things gets removed and the equivalent of positive uh, for that negative gets uh, added up here okay so it converts all the negative cycles to positive things positive cycle that is the rectifier okay so there are two types of rectifier one is the half wave rectifier and second is the full wave rectifier in half wave rectifier it will convert uh, the half cycles negative half cycles into the positive half cycles okay only on either positive or negative half cycles it will convert okay so this is the diagram you need to make there is 240 volts here this is the primary circuit and this is the secondary circuit okay two circuits are here primary and secondary okay 240 volts will be converted to 12 volts okay and this is the re resistance rl okay that's all you have to make here okay so when the current is flowing like this in that time the conversion happens from uh, 240 to uh, 12 volts and it becomes positive okay during the negative half cycle what happens there will be no current flow because the d1 will be open circuit here because of the reverse bias okay firstly it will be forward bias so there will be current then conversion will happen in uh, reverse bias there will be no conversion happen so what happens when the negative half cycle is there it will not be having any output okay so see here in the negative half cycle this is a half wave rectifier in half wave rectifier all these gets cancelled out okay nothing will be present here got my point this is the half wave rectifier because only half wave whatever is there will be coming here negative half will be cancelled and nothing will be there okay that is half wave rectifier in full wave rectifier what happens this also a positive will be there how does that happen that happens because of uh, 
okay in the full wave rectifier uh, what happens is we'll be having a uh, two uh, wave forms okay so because of two wave forms we'll be getting a uh, circuit here also okay that happens because of this first is uh, this one where the negative half cycle will be uh, removed and the positive half cycle will be taken uh, from d2 okay equivalent of positive half cycle will be taken from d2 okay that is what happens in the full wave rectifier okay it is also called as biphase rectifier so see like this it happens okay it was negative here it will become positive here okay and this is because of uh, c1 rl with c1 it becomes a more smoother wave okay moving on we have uh, what is our voltage regulator okay what is voltage regulator and with a neat circuit diagram explain the operation of zener diode voltage regulators with using zener diode so basically what is voltage regulator a regulator means continuing making it okay like that so voltage regulator means generating voltage voltage regulator is a circuit that maintains a constant dc okay maintains a what constant dc output voltage it will maintain a same output voltage is respective of the variations in the input line voltage or in the load so input voltage becomes uh, high low high low like that but the output will always remain the same that is the work of a voltage regulator okay and uh, it is one of the most important application is the zener diode we'll be using the voltage regulator in zener diode okay so some key points are it is included uh, to limit the zener current to a safe value okay when load is disconnected okay that is the first key point there will be a safe value because of the limit okay and when the load is connected the zener current iz will fall as the current is diverted to the load resistance okay so when it is connected what happens the zener current will fall because of the converted to the load resistance diverted to the load resistance okay and the output voltage will remain at the uh, i'll be explaining using a diagram okay rs and rl are the two two resistors present okay so output voltage vz will remain at the zener voltage until uh, the regulation formed by rs and rl falls lower than the input voltage okay so see here this is the formula vz is equal to vn into rl by rl plus rs okay and the power will be equal to iz into vz the zener current into zener voltage will give us the zener uh, power okay power of the zener diode next is what is voltage multiplier and mention its applications and before the operation of voltage doubler circuit by the name what you can understand voltage multiplier multiplier means multiplying it or increasing it okay it is a modified capacitor okay what it is it is a modified capacitor filter that delivers a dc voltage twice more than the peak value of the input ac voltage if this is the e peak value of the input uh, voltage then it, there will be a regulated power supply uh, voltage supply of 20 in the output this thing is done by the voltage multiplier okay so it is used for high voltage and low current devices and can be found in the modern tvs and in the spray painting equipment also it is used what happens when the spray is present here right so when it sprinkles here some voltage is applied so that the spraying where we spray we spray at the cars right so car is made of metal so when we add some voltage here what happens it will get attracted to the metal and uh means uh, stick to the point where it's actually required and does not waste okay means all the particles will stick, stick at different different places and none of the place will remain empty because of the voltage we applied it became magnetic and it will be sticking it uh, sticking here okay so it helps in spreading an even co coat of paint okay this is the advantage okay and this is the circuit diagram okay and here we'll be having two diodes d1 and d2 d1 will be like this d2 will be reversed okay and the uh, output is taken from c1 and c2 connected in series okay output is taken from here <coughs> moving on we have a numerical okay so a numerical which says the following measurements were made using a, uh, during a test on amplifier voltage in and voltage out is given and current in and current out is given we have to find out voltage gain okay what is the voltage gain okay and the current gain what is the current gain okay and the power gain do uh, if we have the voltage and current gain we can calculate the power gain and the input resistance you can calculate divide uh, how we can calculate resistance is equal to uh, v by r right uh, sorry uh, v by i voltage divided by current okay so let's have a look so firstly four things which they have given the input and output voltage and current we'll be writing here voltage gain is equal to v out by v in so we'll get 40 current gain is i out by i in that is 160 multiply 40 and 160 okay we will be getting the power gain now what is the resistance input resistance is v in by i in and that will be 100 ohm.
So this is the input or uh, resistance which they had asked. P in by I in we have to take okay because in the input resistance we have to consider the input uh, voltages and input currents. Okay, so this is a important numerical. Don't miss this one. Moving on to the next concept, we have uh, the concept of negative feedback with a diagram. Okay, negative feedback means if the current is flowing and uh, whatever the uh, result we are observing, that result is not what is expected. So a feedback will be given so that uh, an expected output will be seen in the next iteration like that. Okay, that is called as negative feedback. Okay, so some key points uh, for the negative feedback are uh, firstly, it improves the uh, bandwidth. Okay, why we use it? To improve the bandwidth, reduce distortion, and control the gain. Okay, means how much current is getting passed and all uh, that can be controlled and reduce distortion and bandwidth can be improved. Means how much output we are getting based on the input. Okay, and it can be reduced to manageable value if we have the negative feedback. Okay, if there is a lot of feedback going which you don't want, we can reduce it by using a negative feedback. And if you want to increase it, we can use the positive feedback. Okay, so the circuit diagram is uh, given here. Can go through it. Okay, this is a diagram you need to make. And this is the formula, the calculation. Okay, how we got the formula. So the overall gain with the negative feedback is applied will be less than the gain without feedback. Okay, if there is no feedback, what gain we have, right? More than that gain, uh, sorry, lesser than that gain, we'll be having with negative feedback. Okay, because negative feedback will reduce the gain which we are trying to get. Okay, that is the main aim of it. Okay, so if uh, the voltage uh, amplifier current is more larger, very larger, in that case, we'll be using the formula G is equal to 1 by beta. Okay, beta is the constant and uh, G is the gain in the current. Okay, now this is the formula. First is V in and that v in formula will be v in dash will be calculating and by that we'll be calculating the v in value okay and the v out value is a v into v in dash this is the internal gain okay a v is the internal gain now the overall gain will be v out by v in these formulas will substitute this for these both formulas and we will subtract i mean some simplify it so you'll be getting a v by one plus b into a v that is the gain formula okay that is the final thing you need to write for this question Going on to the next one, we have uh, a numerical where uh, it is uh, the numerical with respect to the zener diode. Okay, a six volt zener diode has a maximum rated power of 500 milliwatts, and uh, it is used uh, in a simple regulated circuit to supply a regulated six volt to uh, 500 ohm uh, resistance. Okay, see, this is the zener diode which is uh, having the power of 500 milli uh, milliwatts, and a regulated power supply of six volt it outputs, and with a resistance of 500 ohm. And determine a suitable values of series resistor for supply of 12 volts. For 6 volts, it is 500. For 12 volts, you need to calculate how much it is. Got the point, right? So, firstly, for that, we need to calculate the uh, Zener current. Zener current is IZ. Okay. So, we have the power, we have the voltage. So, Zener current will be equal to power by voltage. Okay. So, we'll get a Zener current 83.3 milli, uh, milli amperes. Next, we have to calculate the load current, which is uh, going through the uh, resistance 500 ohms. Voltage is this, 500 is uh, the resistance. So the current going through the resistor is IL 6 volts by 500 ohms. The voltage, load voltage by load resistance, which is 12 ampere, we'll get 12 milliampere. Now, the current which is in series, okay, series resistor current that will be IZ in plus IL, both uh, uh, summation of the uh, zener current plus the load current okay that is the total current we'll be having series current that will be 0 0.953 0 0.0953 ampere okay and since we have the resistor current now we can calculate the resistor uh, value which is rs okay so here the voltage is 12 volt which they had given okay and zener voltage is 6 volts so the voltage drop across the resistor is we have to subtract both of these to get the actual voltage which is left that is 6 volts okay now the resistance is nothing but voltage by current right so voltage we have 6 volts we have calculated it here and the current we have got is 0 0.0953 so we'll be dividing 6 volts by 0 0.0953 we'll be getting 63 ohms and the closest standard value to 63 ohms is 68 ohms okay that's one that's the last thing you need to write okay we got the last super important question we have what is the amplifier and the different types of amplifier okay amplifier means increasing what does amplifier do? It will increase. Okay. It is an electronic device that increases the voltage, current and power of a signal and it is used in wireless communications and broadcasting and audio equipment of all kinds. Okay. So there are few types of amplifiers we will be having a look. 
So the first one is AC coupled amplifier. Okay, in AC coupled what amplifier, what happens? The components are transferred from states to states. Okay, so a current has both the AC component and DC component. So AC coupled amplifiers, what it do? It will just take the AC component and amplify it, and DC will remain same. DC coupled amplifier will do the reverse of it. Both AC and DC components are transferred from state to state. Okay, AC only AC will happen. In DC, both will happen. Okay, and large signal amplifiers. It will uh, amplify the large signals for the uh, typically values from one volt to hundred volt. Small amplifiers less than one volt. Audio frequency amplifiers twenty to uh, twenty hertz to twenty kilohertz. Okay, that audio frequencies it will be uh, amplified. Wide band amplifiers. It ranges from few ten to uh, tens of hertz to several megahertz. Okay, and radio frequency hundred kilohertz to one gigahertz. Low noise amplifiers. It will um, whatever the negligible voice is there, the disturbance to the signal being amplified that it will remove. Okay, these amplifiers are used for design for very small signal levels less than ten millivolts. Okay, so these are the ranges present based on different ranges. The amplifiers are separated. Okay, so one of the most important uh, parameters of an amplifier is the amount of amplification of the gain provides. What is the main task of amplifier to uh, increase the value? Right, how much it increases based on that the categorization is done. Okay. So that's all for the uh, module one of electronics. Please do like and subscribe. It helps me make more videos like this. And thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next.